Hello, everyone, and welcome. Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Believe in You release blog hop with Simon the Stamp, and I've got a fun project to share with you using some of the new goodies from the release. This card features the awesome Faceted Stripes stencil. Probably one of my favorite products from the release, and you can guess why, right? I mean, look at that design. Okay, so I'm gonna use Pixie Spray to hold this thing down. You know, back in the day, I only held down my stencils with post-it tape, but this Pixie Spray kicks it up a notch, especially when you have lines like that or intricate shapes that can shift and shimmy while you're blending. And this gives you the crispest, is that a word? Result. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. No way, Jose, is she gonna mask off each individual shape? You bet your bottom dollar I am. And I know what you're thinking. I, I already know you think I'm crazy, and I am, okay? But when I first saw this stencil, first thought that came to mind, wouldn't it be cool if each of the shapes in that stencil was a different color? And it's a harebrained idea. But once you get a harebrained idea, you just gotta give it a shot because you never know. You never know until you know. And so that's what I'm doing. And I mean, like, it's tedious. It took a while, but I enjoy it. And I'm, you know what, I, I stand when I craft. So that makes it even more like burning of the calories. That's what I say. So I'm standing and I'm blending and I'm loving it. Okay, it's not something you're gonna wanna mass produce. And I've seen this stencil used several times now. I see designers working their magic with it. Lots of fun, different ways you can use it with the glitter paste and all that jazz. And um, But I just had to give this a shot, you know? So I wouldn't say it's rainbow. I am kind of going in that order, but I would call it colorful. And this just looks like my husband came home uh, from work when I was doing this. And you'll see his finger come in at some point of this. I can't remember when, but he points at it. He's like, wow, that might be my favorite card you've ever made. He's like, now that should be a painting because him and I both love bright, bold, geometric art. And I always say, I want to make, I want to paint one someday. I want to paint a big geometric art for the wall. But I uh, haven't got around to that yet. Too busy with the cards. But okay, so I'm on Cracked Pistachio. I'm using my Ranger Mini Ink Cubes. These are my old standbys. And I've got the Ranger Blending Tools too. The old standbys. I know everyone's using the brushes and they do work beautifully. You know, I don't have the new tailored expression ones. Boy, are they gorgeous. I mean, are they gorgeous? But uh, I, honestly, I don't really need them. I don't have the counter space for them, but I almost feel like I can't live without them. It's a sickness is what it is. So I'm working my through, way through. This is uh, Wilted Violet. Got to have a little purple in there. And I love, now, you know what my husband said? You know what makes it, Laura? And he hit the nail on the head. It's the gradient. I'm telling you, the gradient is the secret sauce to it all. And you're probably thinking I'm going through a lot of post-it tape, which in general, I go through an obscene amount of post-it tape. But like, I am reusing it, if you can't tell, because I'm thrifty and I'm nifty. But I do go through a lot of post-it tape. It's just one of the things that I do a lot of. I use a lot of post-it tape, a lot of foam tape. And um, I really don't think that's ever going to change. So... Here was the dilemma. When I got through, I thought, now what color am I gonna use for the stripey parts? Because I knew all the stripey parts needed to be the same color to give it consistency, you know? But I didn't know what color. At first I thought I'm gonna do the subtlest blue you ever seen. But then I thought, well, I already got blue in there. It might be too redundant. So I thought, how about a light gray? I don't know, maybe a light gray, a neutral. So I pulled out the old pumice stone. Next thing you know, I got hickory smoke and then I got the black soot. And it turned out a little bit darker than I had anticipated. I was having a mild panic attack thinking I might've ruined it with all the black and gray. But you know what, I'm just gonna roll with it, let it sit, let it marinate, and I might end up loving it, okay? So, but first thought, I wasn't sure about the grays. Now, I took the Greetings Mix One stamp set, another staple of a beauty of a stamp set that came out in the Believe in You release. I embossed this bold thinking of you onto black cardstock. I used one of the sentiment label dies to die, cut it out, trimmed it off on the sides. I'm just taping this 
onto a white card base, no foam tape. And then to give it a little zhuzh, I took some silver thread and I haven't done this in a long, what do you call that, a hot minute? Uh, making a little loosey goosey thread nest. There is a secret to this and I don't know what it is. It's just, you have to play with it for a minimum of 35 minutes. I edited that out, but I took that needle tool and I shimmied and slided that thread around. You want it to look effortless, but it has to take you at least 35 minutes. That's just, there's the only way. And then I adhered a few of these clear drops. Oh, it looks like drops of water. This card is finished. It's colorful, it's bold, it's graphic. You gotta love this faceted striped stencil. Make sure and check out all the rest of the amazing inspiration from the Believe in You release blog hops. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.